Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a quick update to let you know what's been going on because it's been quite a while since I made a, a video about a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago now that I made a video talking about uh, life experiences and updates. Um, just before we get onto that, I mean, I have noticed quite a lot of a reduction in engagement in the videos. Um, not so many people are watching or engaging in the content like they used to, particularly with the YouTube shorts making quite a lot of videos that's not really had um, much engagement at all and I think that that has to do with maybe recent changes with the YouTube algorithm because I've seen a lot of people talking about that discussing that um, so I think recently there's been a change which is impacted in being able to you guys to be able to see the videos and uh, I'm hoping that you get to see this video and uh, engage in this content but if not then i'm gonna have to look into a way as to why it's it's not working so much so i mean at the minute there's not really been that much going on in the last video i talked about my feature film script that i've been working on and that uh sending it out to agents and things like that at the minute that is uh paused because uh from the advice from my um lecturer at the university that's supervising the project we've decided to uh, work on it more and we have and basically from the advice that I got I decided to contact the the agents and put a hold on them reading the script if they hadn't started reading it already because there's been quite a lot of discussion around the script and 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 building up um, and sort of developing it further um, so which we've sort of been working a lot on format and uh, grammatical errors that were in the script and things like that there wasn't too many really in terms of um the written style of the script and i think maybe in a way it comes down to personal preference and i have kind of felt that in 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 this process in terms of the the script writing i can see it needs development but when i send it you know to people to to read they've come back with a lot of positive uh, feedback and um how they felt engaged and moved by the story and the characters so i do think that in a way it comes down to personal preference of the reader and a lot of time and effort has gone into this project and is and i will be developing it further um before i do send it out and spend a little bit of time on sort of um feedback that i get back from people and working that into the script before i send it out so it has been lucky that I have been able to put a, a pause and hold on to the people that I've sent it out to originally. And I do think because of that, we have made a lot of uh, considerable adjustments, which has been which has been great. Um, I don't I think there is still move, uh, there is still a place to improve the the narrative forward. Um, but as a, at the moment, it's in a, it's in a very good place, I feel. And uh, those, those changes have made quite a big impact on the on the layout of the story. Um, moving on to, I mean, last time we still haven't heard back from from the actor that we uh, sent it out to. Currently, she's on a break, um, coming back from finishing filming a project, and got in contact with the agents. Um, at the end of, um, I think maybe the start of the start of last week, um, and they said that she has it. They've sent it to her, and she will be reading it. But it's just a matter of um, she's currently, you know, in 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 a in a break between between projects. So, so we just have to wait and back, uh, wait back, wait, uh, wait to see what is come back from that. Uh, so wait and see what what they say. Hopefully, it is good news, and fingers crossed that we hear positive news. But it's very difficult. I mean, when you're knowing that your project will be read and. I mean, it's been uh, an interesting experience because I didn't expect that the script would be sent in a way because it's unsolicited and I'm independent and everything like that and it's, and it's a feature film. So um, it's very positive that it did get sent, it got past that first step. But now we just have to, I think, just have to accept a no for my own sanity. And I always try and tell myself that, you know, it, we're always moving forward and always developing further, which which is something that we're trying to do every step, every project and things like that. So, yeah, step by step, moving forward is, is always a positive thing. So I'm going to just kind of put my mindset in and expect to know. And if we do get a yes back, then obviously that's that's excellent. Um, but obviously, even if you do get a yes back, many things can change. People can pull out and everything like that. So it's not a, um, it's not, you know, a fully, um, fully protected plan. 
uh, there will there'll be alterations to that as as the uh, project moves forward in in uh, in development and as we're early development at the minute many many things can change but we're there and we're waiting back for news in terms of another project development a short film that i've been wanting to get funding for two years we've not managed to get funding for uh surprise surprise um but we've kind of i was kind of going to give up on it but then it's such a it's such a, a, a such a passionate project that i'm um so interested to dive into and really want to bring to screen and i haven't actually physically been on set and made anything for over two years now uh, i'm currently promoting a project i'm currently promoting two projects but i've not actually physically made something for such a long time that i just really want to get out there and make something i was concerned about impacting the overall quality of of the project considering that i've just made a short film that had uh, a real um excellent quality in terms of cinematography and sound me more so that the sound quality and that development there was much much greater than previous projects that i've done before um so i, I really don't want it to be a detrimental effect on the overall quality but it's now become something that i've i've spoken about with uh, my sort of uh, i've built up a network over a few years of of uh, actors and, and crew and people that I, I really trust and can work with now and it's been something that i've discussed with over a week or so and and everyone's really happy to come on board and, and work for work for free and the passion of the project and we're just going to cover expenses and yeah i think it's going to be something something really good and it's a, a collaboration um that we've been wanting to um put together myself and uh, the lead the lead the lead actress that we've been wanting to 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 make for such a long time that we don't want now to 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 let that go and uh, we yeah so the idea is that we film uh if all going well we have uh, a few days in in Wales in uh, the lead actress's uh hometown uh, and we have um, the place there that we we have the support network with with her family and everything like that, like that so we can we can hopefully make things work the best we can and I've, we've been having a lot of meetings at the minute about locations and and themes and different things like that so it's very positive at the minute in terms of a lot more development in a project that I originally thought we weren't able to do so it is it is definitely something that we we really want to make and bring to the screen uh, and yes, it's going to have to be something that we self fund again, but it's not going to be on the on the level of of what I did on on the other woman because it's just I'm not in a position to self fund and put all that capital in. And a lot of people have sort of turned around and said to me, "How about you run a crowdfunding campaign and everything like that?" And that's something that we we would think about doing, but I have tried to do that in the past and it's not been a success because we don't really have much of a social media following um the actress does have quite a large social media following but i just i think that the whole impact of of, of crowdfunding and the way that you're supposed to work with it is such a strategic um plan that you need to to approach it with that it's just that i don't have personally the expertise so we've been looking for producers in their early stages of career and hopefully we might be able to find someone in some kind of producing network that wants to come on and help us. But if that is unsuccessful, that we are very much prepared to put in a little bit of money uh, in the project um, ourselves and do like a, a co-producing, co-financing type of arrangement. But it's not going to be anywhere on the level of, of a previous film. So we're working with very, very little amount of money. So it's kind of just going to be beg and borrow and working with my own network. And we've got, um, I've got really, really good people that I can work with now and, and really enjoy working with. So I'm very um, passionate for the project and I'm very confident that we'll be able to make something that is very, um, yeah, is very powerful and worthy of, of, of me, of me making because I've been in kind of, really deep places uh, over the last few months um more so um probably about six months ago as you'll know and I wasn't in a position to really think about things like that and now I have you know I'm in a better place mentally and uh, that I can actually think about working on something else again and I, I come to finish my university 
um, next month. So I'm, phys I'm actually um, technically still a student until September, like the middle of September, but we don't, we, we finish our classes and have the final hand in in the middle of August. So that the plan is that we film in the end of October and that gives us a lot of time then to sort of plan and prepare for for this short film. And it's also a lot shorter. It's a, it's a nine minute, nine page script as well. So it's a lot, lot shorter than the previous project. And the previous and the other woman was a lot longer than it is now. And we did actually have to cut out a lot. So I've, I've learned a lot from that process. And now I know that with a short film, it's got to be, it's got to be short. Um, so I still feel that even with its current length, 16 minutes in uh, my, my uh, previous short film, it's still too long in many, in many aspects. So I've learned a lot from that process. And even if we don't make a success of the current short film, as much as a success as we wanted it to be, I know that I can take away those lessons and make something, hopefully, uh, on the same level, or if not better, um, the next time around. Um, so yes, it's going to be a shoestring budget of beg, beg and beg and borrow from uh, friends and everything like that, and and just trying to work for just you know passion and and, and pittance really. Um, so yeah, but it's going to be an experience that I think would be definitely worthwhile and beneficial for me moving forward. Going to shoot on location away from um, my own personal support networks and being able to you know go out my comfort zone and step out and um, do something a little bit different I think will put me in uh, good stead for future projects and and things going forward um, I think you know also talking about um, mental health and anxiety I think I'm in a lot better place now to take on more things but I have noticed the last a few days if not the last week my anxiety has definitely got a lot worse um, and I'm sort of trying to work on that and do a lot of the grounding techniques which majority of the time do work um, but we're not at the same level as we were I mean to earlier on today I did have um, an anxiety attack which wasn't uh, very you know um, pleasant but we was able to to manage it and it kind of, it did feel very much like how things were. As much as I was able to control it with a lot of the grounding techniques, the last few days, these things have sort of been creeping back in. And I think it's a, I think it's a lot about, a lot about thinking about next week, because it's going to be a full on next, full on next week, very full on week about, um, crits and things with the university so full week with that and also taking the davinci resolve certified course which i'm very much looking forward to but i think because i've not been doing something for quite some time it's also um taking up a lot of my mind space at the minute but i think as soon as we get going with the week and i get to know what we're doing i think things will start to calm down hopefully that's my idea and hopefully that will be something that happens but yeah, things have been difficult um, the last few days and I have noticed a lot of the original sort of anxiety symptoms. A lot of the uh, emetophobia thoughts have come back in, difficulty breathing and also a bit of like the, the reflux issues that I'm getting, the acid reflux issues with the hernia. So I'm having issues with the, with the hiatus hernia at the minute as well, which is not helping because I've noticed that when the hiatus hernia is playing up, then my anxiety creeps up as well at the same time. I'm still practicing with the IQRO that I spoke about in the previous video, but I did get a little bit sort of um, lapse with testing with it and doing the training. Um, so, yeah, I did feel that w when I stop doing it so religiously, then a lot of the symptoms creep in. And when I get the symptoms, then the anxiety also uh, goes alongside it. Um, so, yeah that's difficult sometimes but I'm back on training and I did kind of I have kind of forgot to do it a few times but now I'm making a mental note to say look you've got to keep doing it keep training at the times and when I do train it is definitely a lot better with the symptoms and that also managed my my anxiety as well because I've noticed that my metaphobia triggers the anxiety so the symptoms that I get from the hernia trigger the metaphobia which then triggers the anxiety so that's like a, a cycle of, of anxiety that I've got to work towards um, 
and it's something that majority of the time is okay. I mean, I used to take antacids pretty much uh, every uh, every day, multiple times a day, but now I've got to a much more manageable position that when I'm training on the IQ, I don't have to take things like Rennie or Gaviscon pretty much, you know, I can go days now without taking it, and I've, in the last, you know, three or four months, I've probably only taken it a handful of times, we you know, when it would have been like two or three times a day. I did have to take one today, but I've figured out that, like I say, when I get the anxiety, when I get panic attacks, that's when a lot of the symptoms happen, but I think that was triggered from, from the, the hernia, so I think it's something that I need to be aware of, and something that I need to sort of work on, and make positive steps forward with, um, now I know, and I know that trigger. Um, so yeah, and I think also it's not helping knowing that we've got to go back to um, doing things next week because whenever whenever I know that I've got to leave the house and do things, that's when a lot of the anxiety creeps in. And knowing with the fact that next week is like pretty much my final week at university and then I've got to do my work and then hand in um, later on in August, knowing that, um, is also um, quite difficult because I mean I know what I'm doing and I've got to do a, an evaluation which I'm opting to do a 20 minute video where I'm just talking through the process of the script and where we are at and what we're going to what we've learned from the process and what I will improve on um, so I know I've got to do that but it's something that I've sort of put at the back of my mind and now the less and less time we have to do it it's just going to have to be something that I'm just going to have to do soon because a lot of my mind has been taken up on sort of looking and applying to work. I've applied to so many different jobs in um, film and TV and also sort of like content creation or things that are related to the work that I've studied for. Um, I did have a, uh, a couple of job interviews back in the, uh, back doing the very, very similar job to what I used to do before. Um, as, a, as an IT technician and these were two service test analyst positions the first one was in the university that I currently study at and I got offered that role but then um, with a lot of sort of anxiety and things like that it was a, about you know about four or five days where I really did a lot of thinking and I probably overthought too much into it and then I did make the decision to turn down that offer which I did have helped with with the counsellor at the university um, which I no longer actually have any um, any official support which actually got closed down with the university which I'm not so happy about but that was sweet we're just gonna have to live with it now and there's not much you know left with the university so you know I think I'm in a good place good enough place to be able to to deal with it going forward which is great um, but yeah going back to that I did have help from the counsellor and you know we made that decision to kind of just help me with writing that uh, email to say that I've made the decision to to not not accept the offer which in a way now looking back I wish that I'd kind of probably given it a go because as much as it wasn't what I really wanted to do it would have got me out doing something again and got me back into the experience of working which all these things I actually didn't really have much consideration on because at the time I was like you know I know what I want to do this is not what I want to do and I think I put too much thought and emphasis on onto that which didn't help and now I'm sort of I've got a lot of anxiety at the minute because I don't know what I'll be doing come end of August September time and I'm, I'm hoping to to find and line work in my area of uh, particularly post-production work but it's it's uh, very very challenging even with a lot of the network that I know and a lot of people that are helping me out trying to sort of uh, give recommendations and talking with people it's just such a really challenging time because I mean there is the jobs there but it's like even on entry level positions you need like three years of experience which I don't know how you're supposed to you know navigate that. Uh, I've applied to no end of positions, I've done no end of cover letters and I've actually recently just updated my CV which I hope would uh, help with um, you know positions moving forward because I've recently just taken on a new opportunity with uh, uh, more media charity the Cornwall Film Festival where I'm a pre-selector and I'm watching a lot of um, the short films that have been been, have been um, submitted to this year's Cornwall Film Festival and uh, yeah I'm, I'm analysing them providing uh, coverage of the films and film criticism and writing in-depth reviews and analysis of each of the films that I get assigned 
and I uh, also score them on each individual category and give an overall score, which has been a very, very difficult process. And I've only really watched about 20 shorts. And this year with Cornwall Film Festival is the record number of submissions that the festival has had in, uh, yeah, I think since it started. So there's so many, so many submissions, it's hundreds of submissions. And there's a team of pre-selectors like myself and we're going through them and analysing them. And then later on, other judges will will pick up uh, the ones that are, the pre-selectors have scored the highest. So it's a really really good experience that I'm getting to to watch what it's like from the other side of uh, a film festival and and how difficult it is and how much films are out there because I mean, as much as I get a lot of rejections and I'm still getting rejections for film festivals, it's it's um, it puts it in perspective with how many films are submitted that are of high quality and good with so many different things because it's like each one is is good for different reasons and there's so much variety out there it puts it into perspective as to how difficult it is as much as it's, it's very bad to get a rejection you feel personally rejected from that festival i know now from doing this work with the cornwall film festival that it's it, it is an extremely challenging position for a festival to be in um, and I'm only doing a very, very small part as to, to what the festival will later be having to decide really in the, the final selections and the final lineup. Um, so, yeah, um, that's uh, really sort of opened my eyes to really how much is out there. Very, very um, difficult um, to, to get out there in, in such a crowded marketplace. So now, in a way, I'm... I'm as much as I was, I was very impressed to get into Fastnet Film Festival because it's one festival that I've been wanting to play out for a while. Now from doing this and knowing how much work and really how much high quality work is out there and been put out there into the, into the festivals this year and obviously last year as well is, yeah, uh, I I feel um, quite proud that you know I managed to get into Fastnet as well in such a such a difficult um, block you know of, of films and when we were. We didn't win any awards, but we were up against a lot of competition that had won awards at, you know, really big, prestigious film festivals like Tribeca and, you know, many others like that and, and were Oscar qualifying films. So to be up in a, in a line, uh, lineup like that was, um, yeah, was uh, very inspirational and, and really kind of felt that, you know, as much as we are getting a lot of rejections with our work, I think that's inevitable. And I think, you know, we will just have to keep putting stuff out there and, and trying to fight against the system as it as it were to you know try and try and get our work seen in such a such a you know crowded place to short films so yeah that's a lot of things going on at the minute and i'm trying to keep mentally strong which can be difficult because i have no idea what i'm going to be doing but on the positive front we've we've done a lot of work we've got a lot of things coming up and there's a lot of positivity there um come a month or two months time i will be unemployed um, but you know, there's a lot of stresses involved with that. Financial stresses, not knowing what I'll do and things like that, and just kind of beating yourself up because you've not done a certain thing or should have taken a job, whatever. But we are where we are, and I think it's going to be challenging. But we're going to have to just sort of just take things as they are, and we know what direction we want to go in, and I really know where I want to be and where I want to end up. So I think we're just going to have to keep chipping up, chipping away at it, and just, just trying to achieve our goals um so yeah that's that's currently where we're at a lot of things going on my head space is very full um and i think that's what's impacting my anxiety a lot but i think we'll get there i mean we we have applied to a lot of shadowing experiences as well i've got one day shadowing with a director that i met um not so long ago and we've sort of been emailing backwards and forwards and on a bbc drama uh next month so uh, hopefully that still goes ahead because it would be great to sort of this would be my first experience of stepping onto a proper you know working film set as I call it a real film set um, and really seeing how it how it works and it'd be nice to sort of uh, stand there with the director and sort of see how the whole process works because I've been I'm, I'm experienced with a lot of short films and I've done sort of factual content I've done fictional content I've worked with a lot of inspirational people over the years um, which has been, you know, really, really beneficial for my for my process. But I've not actually physically been on a, you know, a real television set before. So this would be uh, an eye opening experience, and hopefully, um, fingers crossed that that will go ahead. That experience, as much as it's a really an anxiety provoking, that I know that it's going to have to considerably step out of my comfort zone and, and go to 
go to a city, go to a film set, probably have to stay over in a hotel and do all these things. I think this is only going to have, it's only going to be a positive experience overall in the end, um, and hopefully may lead on to to other opportunities in the future. So I'll keep you all updated. I apologise for the length of this video because it has been a very lengthy video and the last video was very lengthy as well, which might be putting off you guys watching the content, which is maybe why you're not watching them. But I kind of see this as a way of just like, just letting out what I'm thinking and uh, whether or not you guys like to watch it or not, you know, that's, that's, that's that. But yeah, um, thanks for watching and uh, do like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment down below if you want to engage in the video. And um, yes, stay tuned and uh, stay for the next video. Thank you.